What's up guys, I'm BTC. In the latest patch, you might not have noticed it, but Moira got a massive stealth nerf. And of course, it's not in any of the patch notes. These changes that Moira got are a little more complicated than simply being a flat out nerf. There was some beneficial stuff included with these changes, now, I think the original intent might have been to resolve some of the bugs and the problems that Moira had with the Biotic Orb and with her Biotic Grasp, her primary damaging ability, her right click. But as a result of these changes, although there was some of that beneficial stuff, there was definitely an incredibly bad change, a side effect to all of this that actually cripples her damage so the end result is that the bad, the nerf part of this change greatly, greatly outweighs any of the benefit that she might have gotten from it. But let's take a quick step back. I'm going to go through all of the good stuff that was included with this change and then we'll go into the nerfs and why they're so bad. So the first thing is going to be Moira can now attack Torbjorn's turret. So this was actually kind of a problem. You could right click on the turret, but it simply wouldn't target it. It wouldn't do any damage whatsoever. Your biotic orbs would also just ignore it. So the only way that Moira could do any damage to a Torbjorn's turret was with her ultimate or with quick melee. So thankfully this has been fixed and now you can actually deal damage to it. And that rolls into the next beneficial part of this change, which is the damaging biotic orb will now appropriately target certain things that have been placed on the ground or on the wall. So things like turrets or the steel trap or any of that stuff, the biotic orb will now seek it out and try to destroy it. Even the junk rat tire as well will also be targeted. So a lot of this stuff that was kind of in the environment before that couldn't be targeted will now be targeted by the damaging orb. Unfortunately, it's a little too good and that starts going into the nerf situation. So now let me show you a couple of examples of the biotic orb targeting things that it shouldn't be trying to target, which actually makes it worse. So you can see the biotic field from Soldier 76, the translocator from Sombra, even Maze Ult will get targeted by the damaged biotic orb and even other biotic orbs will also be targeted. It doesn't matter if they're a damaged one or a healing one. Now, if it's two damaging orbs, they will both try to slow each other down, but if one of them is a healing orb, then that one will continue at full speed and it just kind of zips away. Now, when the orb is trying to target any of these objects, since it can't actually destroy them, it doesn't use up any of its damaging charge, so that's not the issue. The problem though is that it will slow down and try to damage something that it can't actually damage. Which means that when you're trying to send it at a different target, it may get inadvertently slowed down by like a soldier biotic field or something like that. Or a translocator. Like things that it shouldn't be trying to target will actually impair the effectiveness of the biotic orb. Now, another interaction that has been problematic ever since Moira was released was that of the orbs and maze ice wall. So originally, the ice wall would just completely destroy any orb that it came into contact with, didn't matter if it was friendly or foe. Then they changed it so that the orbs would simply pass through the ice walls no matter what. Now, what works on the live version of the game is if it's a healing orb, it will just pass through any of the ice walls no matter what. If it's a damaging orb and an enemy ice wall, then what will happen is the orb will basically just get destroyed almost instantly. It will just try to use up all of its damage on the ice wall and just vanish. However, there's still a problem if it's a friendly ice wall. So what will happen is the orb will pass by the friendly May ice wall and it will try to deal damage, but since it can't because it's a friendly target, it will simply just slow down. Now, it doesn't lose any of its damage charge, but it still loses a lot of effectiveness because it's slowed down quite a lot by a friendly wall. So that's kind of problematic as well, but that is by far not even close to the worst of it. So the massive nerf that has happened to Moira has to do with the fact that the biotic orb, the damaged one specifically, 
will now prioritize barriers over almost everything else. So what you used to be able to do is you could fire a biotic orb through a barrier and if there was a line of sight to an enemy target, then it would try to deal damage. But if the barrier was in between the orb and the target, then the orb just wouldn't do anything and it would continue on as normal and not be able to target anything. What happens now, however, is the orb will prioritize the barrier and almost completely burn itself out before it's able to do any damage to any of the actual players. Now, if you fire this directly through a barrier, then eventually it will do a small amount of damage on the other side, but for the most part, it still completely burns itself out. Now, you might be thinking, well, isn't that kind of the point of a barrier to absorb the damage? And in most cases, yes, that would be right. In the case of the Biotic Orb, no, that's wrong. The Biotic Orb was specifically designed to go through barriers so that it could damage the targets on the other side. If the orb is simply going to burn itself on the barrier as it goes through it, then what's the point of even having it go through the barrier anymore? Now keep in mind that Moira is the lowest damage character in the game. So having the biotic orbs go through the barriers and be able to deal some damage on the other side was kind of an offset to that. But if the orbs can no longer do that, then all it means is that now Moira is by far the lowest damage character in the game, and that using a damage orb even anywhere in the remote vicinity of a barrier is going to be absolutely completely worthless, because the orb is simply going to automatically prioritize and target the barriers and just burn itself out before it can deal any damage to any actual players. Now, I realize that Moira is in the support category and her primary role is healer, but also realize that she doesn't have the constant healing output that other characters do. So she was able to do damage in order to try to compensate for the fact that she can't constantly be healing. And I realize that the damage orb doesn't build her biotic meter, but that's beside the point. The fact is she can heal sometimes and deal damage other times. But now with this change to the damaging orb, it crippled her damage output. So now she can heal sometimes and do damage significantly less times. So it's just a really bad change and it will absolutely cripple the damage potential of this character, who by the way, is already the lowest DPS character in the game. It just doesn't make any sense. Now clearly there are still some bugs with the orb though, because it's targeting things like the Translocator and the Biotic Field and the Friendly May Ice Wall. So maybe when they fix that, they might look at the shield thing again, but I have a feeling if they don't, that is going to be a really bad change for Moira. So one step forward and two steps back is what it looks like. So what do you guys think about these changes, bug or intentional on the shield change? Let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to check out my Discord server. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, all that stuff. The links are down below. Thanks for watching. Remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault. Also, special thanks to all my Patreon supporters for helping to make this all possible. If you'd like to see what kind of cool rewards you can get for supporting the channel, check the links on screen and down below.